But first, trains are certainly a fascination for a lot of people of all ages. And one museum in the upstate taps into that. So all aboard. Access Carolina's Ava Bratz has a one-track mind today, becoming quite the train buff, I know. Exactly. I'm glad we're on the same track with that, Margaret. Now we're located here on the Norfolk Southern Railway, and you can't miss this fire truck red, newly refurbished caboose. And the really neat thing about that, Bruce Gatham's going to tell us more. Born and bred here in Spartanburg, so this thing has a lot of local roots. It does have local roots. Uh, uh, this car started out in the 1920s as a wooden box car. In 1947, the Haynes shop, which is just on the north side of Spartanburg, converted it to the steel caboose. It ran on the railroad from 1947 until late 70s when cabooses were eliminated. They reduced the size of the crews from five people to two, and they didn't use the caboose because now there's a radio on the back of the caboose. Uh, interesting, and it was sold to a local family here who then they turned it into an apartment. Yep. So kind of talk to me about that refurbished process. It was an over two-year project. Yeah, well, uh, we got the caboose and we took the apartment part out, and we were in the caboose for about 10 years, and then the floor started <laughs> we'll doing this. It. Okay. <laughs> and if we go inside, I can show you the boards and why it got so bouncy. I say we do it. And a really cool thing, I don't know if you can hear kind of that voice in the background. That's an active dispatcher because this is an active railway, Margaret. So a lot of history, but also it's happening right here. So Bruce built this entire model train station, right? Yep, I did. So the boards on the w boards on the wall up there are what we found in the restoration when the floor got spongy. Wow. There were six layers of flooring and the bottom layer was that big top board ah. and that was original boxcar floor from the 1920s. And then the little thing below it that's all rotten, mm -hmm. that's what the 4 by 4s look like and that's why the floor was a little uh, soft. Well, it's a good thing you didn't have any dance parties in here before that no. got taken out. <laughs> for, for sure. <laughs> oh my so goodness. So that necessitated we tore out the hole inside of the caboose and that took two years yeah. to bring back. We had to weld up holes in the sides, fix rusty areas, and all kinds of things. Well, a really interesting element of the tour, and when little kids come in here, you know, what are some of those main points that you hit on? Oh, well, I've already covered the history of the caboose somewhat, but, and we have little Thomas running on the layout. He's in the tunnel. He's going to come out shortly. Come out, come the, out, Thomas. Oh, something. So there he is. There he is. Oh, we love you, Thomas. Keep on chugging, my friend. And if someone has a model train station of their own, there's actually some unique things they can pick up here in the hobby shop. Right. Okay, yeah. let's walk over there. Can you talk to me a little bit more about we, that? We have items that uh, get donated to us uh, <laughs> for sale uh, to help run the museum and pay for the restoration of the caboose. So these are all donated items. And then we have more on display on this shelf behind Ooh, you. Very cool. Uh, yeah, and we've got everything from, like, you know, kind of yeah. that fake grass down here. Yeah. What's this guy? Well, that's a building kit that makes into a big old hotel. Ooh, not just any hotel, the Ambassador Hotel. Yeah. And then these are all finished cars that you can buy that are ready to put on the layout and run and things like that. And then there's kits oh. that you can put together. And it's super cool that it goes to support the, the railroad system. Y'all are a, a nonprofit, so we it's nonprofit. important for you guys. Yes, we, <laughs> very important. Definitely. Because we don't charge admission to go in the museum. We mm -hmm. ask for donations. Gotcha. And anything really helps. Well, and it's a cool thing to remember your time here. If you want to buy a little model train or a little thing. Oh, what do we have here? Well, boom. if we have little kids come in, the, we always try to give them two or three magazines. They're old issues that have been donated uh, so they can get hooked on there trains. You go. We're planting the choo-choo seed early and often here at Hub City Railroad. Mark, when we come back, we're going to be talking about that only tunnel in South Carolina that is active, it's functioning, it's underground. All right. Can't wait to see it, Ava. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Right now.